today we have only one sharing in English. That is by uh, Chandra Kalaji. So, Chandra Kalaji, the Namaste. Namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste to all. So, let me introduce you briefly, then we can start with your share. Okay. So, Dr. H. N. Chandra Kalaji is a professor and head of the Department of Chemistry at Kalpataru Institute of Technology to Karnataka. Uh, she is associated with UHB since October uh, 2022. And uh, she had done her UHB introductory workshop and UHB 2 workshop online. Uh, she is doing volunteering activity in uh, uh, registration process. Though she desires to uh, do volunteer activities in many other uh, things, uh, but right now she is not able to uh, do that. Yeah. So, uh, with this brief introduction, let's invite uh, Chandra Kalaridi to put her sharing. Didi, welcome over to you. Thank you, Baya. Very good morning to all. Namaste, Namaste to all my mentors and my dear co-explorer. As Tara Prasanabaya already told about me, I am Dr. H. N. Chandrakala, Professor and Head in the Department of Chemistry, Kalpatra Institute of Techn Technology, Tiptur, Karnataka. Baya, am I audible? Yes, Baya? you are yes. probably audible. Okay, Baya. Thank you, Baya. About my family, my husband, Mr. Rajshekar, is a farmer. My daughter, Miss Monisha Eraj, stayed in home and searching for the job. And we all three stayed in tip tour at my working place. I have two brothers and one sister and father and auntie. Both my husband and father family are doing agriculture and the business. My journey with the UHV is started from October 2022 with the UHV 1 workshop through online. Later, I did the UHV 2 workshop also through online. From both the workshops, I know the content of UHV, but I started to experience the content of UHV after I joined with the morning session from batch 6. In the first batch, I able to see my thoughts and imagination. The main thing which made me to stay with the UHV is we are the human being, our coexistence of self and the body. Body is a material unit and self is a conscious unit. Self use the body as an instrument. This key statement drag my attention. In my childhood, I read so many stories about some Siddha Purushas and their miracles or pavadas. I was read that time, our mind is so powerful, mind means here the cell, than the body. These stories create more curiosity about the cell. But later, it diminishes gradually. Later, I am a, I studied in the science stream and joined as a started my career in the year 1997 as a chemistry lecturer. Further, I take more and more responsibility in the college and in the family. I handle all the situations are most of the situation with the struggle. This struggling nature of my life impact on my health also. I was under I was understood that something went wrong in my life. What I am doing is not right, but how to come out from this is not known to me. I was referred so many successful person 
biography how they overcome their life issues but it is not give the solution for my life problems but uhv shows the right path for further journey of my life because here i am able to see what i am doing what i am thinking what i am feeling how i am responding or reacting with the universe so i am grateful to this content my understanding about the exercise 1 and 2 till this time exercise 1 observing the self by the self every moment step 1 and 2 observing my desire thought and expectation and feeling is naturally acceptable to me or not i can't be a pure observer all the time but i observe my feeling thought and expectation most of the time i observe more when i am in a problem or a trouble i observe my imagination thoughts which are developed based on my desire if i am a good feeling or a feeling of relationship about a person my thoughts are cause are not cause the disharmony but if i have a feeling of opposition about a person the thoughts develops about the person made to me unhappy because i am not in a relationship with that person opposition feeling is not naturally acceptable for me so i am unhappy at that moment earlier i observe my imagination if it is cause a disharmony i try to stop the those thoughts i don't want to continue with those thoughts because i am unhappy with those thoughts now i am not stop i try to evaluate the feeling behind those thoughts and why i am having that feeling which assumption or a precondition made me to have such feeling for example my sister is a homemaker whenever she come to my home she expect or ask some help from me earlier also i help her whatever the extent it is possible from my side and i told my problem also with her but my feeling is was in the opposition but nowadays i help her if she asks when i can't i tell why i can't do that with the feeling of relationship sometime she is satisfied sometime she is not but my feeling with her is the feeling of relationship here i want to say that most of the time i can able to handle my family members without struggling earlier my worry is why they can't understand me now also sometime they understand sometime may not but i am cool because i see their competency to understand the situations i am not doubt their intention my expectation from my family members and the colleagues and the students are more when they are not fulfilled i was disturbed this disturbance was so long earlier nowadays i observe that in those situations i contemplate on that why can't they do it whether they are like to do or not whether they are competent to do or not if it is necessary for them what method i should follow if they need a space or a time with some time i try to give after some time i try to put an effort to explain how we helpful for us as a pro- proposal most of the time but i am not succeeded all the time in such situation if it is very essential i have to change my methods to execute that 
i can do the plan on the basis of my previous experience or what i heard about from others that is the assumptions so without entangle with the previous experience planning a new method or finding a new way is a really challenging challenge for me but i can say here compared to earlier i am not recalling the past incidents and feeling unhappy is reduced a lot step 3 and 4 are you in happy with the feeling and who decide the feeling i shared so many times with the ma'am if i am not done any mistake but they are blaming me with the harsh words how can i stay in harmony other opinions about me is matters a lot even today i am not overcome it fully of course i know i only decide my feeling in every moment every situation and i want to be happy always but i made me unhappy if somebody tells something about me and which i am not like situations are not happening according to me first i try to resolve this problem by excusing the others like it's okay but it is not working i started to contemplate myself others are also like me and not doubt their intention now i can say it is a better most of the time i sleep to take the decision which is naturally acceptable to me here my decision is not on the basis of my right understanding decision is based on the preconditioning assumption so i have to improve a lot my competency should be enhanced here to overcome this nowadays i can say i am not too much excited with the favorable incidences or deep down with the unfavorable moments compared to the earlier i experience the state of harmony in most of the time step 6 and 7 i clearly see that i am happy only when i am in relationship with the other people state of harmony or disharmony is based on the meaning i gave to the external situation or the words with my sanskar or right understanding currently the understanding of meaning of coexistence is i means the self and the body are existential reality and my existence is there with the coexistence with all units like a material units as well as the conscious conscious units like other hum- human beings my body is exist or survive with the support of air water soil sunlight means the nature without interacting with the surrounding it cannot be survive self cannot do the external activity like a, any help to others without the support of the body so coexistence is the basis of the existence if i look at the cycle of water food solar system everything everything are interconnected our days and night and time connected with the movement of sun and the moon each and every physical unit they contribute to the nature in their own way for example grass contribute one way and the tree contributed in another way sand is contributed in one way mountain is contributed in another way here i am thinking grass is small sand is small its contribution is less compared to the big tree by looking at in my grass 
eyes are the grass understanding by comparison because without differentiating or comparing i cannot understand the external world without with my sensation here i am seeing the challenge that keeping logical mind seeing everything as it is is the difficult task for me exercise 2 observing the self body and interaction between them in a space by the self step 1 self and the body are two distinct existential reality i exist because i can able to see my thoughts desires and expectation my body also exist because i can read it through the sensations the step 2 i interact with the body when i required not all the time when i sit and watch the mobile or a tv i am not aware about the body most of the time when i found some discomfort in my leg or a back i give the instruction to the body to change the gesture or to sit in a comfortable position so most of the time i am not use the body step 3 i am the one who decide what instruction are to be passed to the body and what sensation are to be read from the body body is interact with outside world always means sensations are there in the body but i read the sensation which is more important at that moment example yesterday i am walking in my native place many sensations are there in the body but i read the sensation that the road is having more pits filled with the muddy water i read the sensation and decided to give the instruction to the body walk slowly because road is not good hold your clothes here i the self decide to walk slowly because the road is not good enough to walk fastly to keep my body safely the step 3 sorry step 4 i am not the sensation i am different from the sensation if i am the sensation i cannot read the sensation so i am different from the sensation there is a distance between i and the sensation for example uh, last week when i am traveling in a bus i sit in the middle in a three seater seat the window side the lady it not like to open the window and other side the person having a very intense body sweating smell i am sitting in the middle i read these both the sensation both are not favorable for me later i start to watch the video in the phone i involve in the story we travel about 30 to 40 minutes in the duration i observe that i am not aware about the the body order of the other person or that the the suffocation because of not getting a sufficient air those sensations impact was there on the body but the self is not aware about it because it is not important for me and that time because the more important is i am involved in that the video or the story so self and the body or the sensations are separate step 5 when i taste the sensation i give the meaning to it based on my sanskar in the above example the lady who is sitting at the window wear the scarf 
on a, on a red and told the front seat person to close the window because she is getting cold i read the sensation and i decided to sit without asking her to open the window i felt at that time she will get our effect with the cold air so this is the decision i take based on my sanskar other per other person or the gesture or behavior also impact on the body causes sensation when i watching a tv news of kerala's land landslide pictures or the video i have a feeling of sad that is in self in the body my facial expression is change according to that and i can have some uh, thing happen in my gut also i feel so this impact is caused in my body while looking at that videos or the pictures another sanskar of me is the resentment if the people are not done the work according to me or the situation is not in my way i was not sometime i am not i was not express anything about them i was kept quiet and having a feeling of resentment about them this disturbs a lot these days i openly express my opinion and try to resolve it at that time sometime i found i found that i assumed what i assumed was wrong few days back in attendance register principal sir marked cl above my signature i saw that i recalled about that day i came 10 minutes late after the lunch i decided to ask principal sir why he put a the cl and i asked him he told that ma'am you put a half day cl uh, i hope so if it is not i will correct it then i recalled that i put a leave i forgot i put a sign in the register i came to know that it was my mistake and doubt was clear so this is the one of the i can say that the great achievement for me the feeling of resentment about the others is drastically reduced when i uh, spoke with the person at that time step 6 i also observe that i tend to react if my sanskar is based on assumption sometime i react with my husband when work is delay are not completed quickly i thought or i have an assumption is always postpone that uh, work is not plan to execute the work that assumption or the precondition make me to react with the situations without asking the reason for the delay of the work i respond when my sanskar is based on the understanding nowadays most of the time i am responding with my family members with my right understanding example to carry out my household work my daughter is helping me sometime if i ask her she is not help due due to that i could not complete the work in a scheduled time in that situation i postpone the work for the next day but earlier i don't want to postpone the work i want to execute in that time only so what i am what i can't do i because of them so i thought because of them because of their non cooperation i cannot execute so that i have a opposition feeling but now i postpone the work it's okay i can do it in the next day because of that i have a good feeling with towards them 
or feeling of relationship. Step seven, I am in coexistence in a space. Body is coexistence in a space. The space at present, the meaning is the gap between the two units. This step I have to explore more. This is the reflection about the exercise one and two. The point number three, how many steps are you able to see with clarity? In exercise one, step number one to six. In exercise two, step number one to six, I have a clarity. The seventh step of one and two, I need to explore further. And also, I have a doubt about our confusion or keep it open this question how the self is associated with the body that is the another one point number four yes happiness is my innate nature i have to explore more and more to take a decision based on my right understanding actually first when i heard the word about a underst right understanding i thought that whatever we say generally use that understanding right understanding means see the things as it is understanding the reality so here i can say that presently my assumptions and preconditions are my deep rooted sense cars are avoiding to see the realities as it is commitment i am spending around 2 hours sometime more than 2 hours developmenting my right understanding and uh, i am not the name much volunteering work with the uhp team except the registration one but i am helping for the people who are working with me with this knowledge i am working in a several college committees like a cultural sports nss science forum and i am the chairperson of a college internal complaint committee that is women cell where it helps a lot to solve the students issues smoothly presently i am giving a more time for my family members with my personal family issues so that i cannot do that more work with the uhp team with this reflection i convey my sincere pranam to sharmila didi kumar bhaiya gopal babu bhaiya ganesh bhaiya and all other mentors and also my co-explorer thank you thank you ananda bhaiya over to you namaste didi namaste bhaiya namaste namaste so nice sharing with you you are uh, relating these steps in every interaction in each interaction <clears throat> and this is the way only that we are moving inside and relating outside so in that sense it is good so i have enough time today so this journey from outside to inside then from inside to outside mm -hmm. we can we can see our progress in two ways mm -hmm. so first uh, way is there are three states in our consciousness mm -hmm. number one uh, reactive active and mm -hmm. proactive these three states mm -hmm. so in reactive state means something is happening around me and i get hurt and i react outside mm -hmm. if it is happening it means i am in reactive state it means i am living at the level of expectation mm -hmm. so whenever my expectation 
is not fulfilled i get hurt and i react outside mm -hmm. so this is the active state yeah second is active state mm -hmm. active state means something is happening outside and i am feeling hurt mm -hmm. but actively i am observing it mm -hmm. that some feeling is there in me and because of that feeling i am feeling hurt now i'm observing is what is the basis of the decision who has taken mm. the decision mm. and i am trying to resolve it on the basis of direct observation mm -hmm. so this is active state i am hurt inside but not reacting outside mm. and mm. trying to find out the reason mm. who is taking decision why this decision has been taken by me Mm -hmm. Is it in the light of coexistence or not? So, if it is happening, we are in active state. Mm -hmm. And the last is proactive state. Mm -hmm. In proactive state, I am aware. I am mm -hmm. observing my sense cars from the state of pure observer. Mm -hmm. So, otherwise things, otherwise feelings, thoughts, is not happening in me. Whatever is happening in me. Mm. is according to coexistence is according mm. to harmony is according to relation mm. so i am not feeling hurt inside in fact mm. i am giving response outside each time every time without mm. hurting inside mm. so this is the third state proactive mm. state mm. so generally we all you know, keep moving from 1 to 2 to 3 mm. sometimes we lie in third state most of the time sometimes in second state means mm. active state so we can measure it our percentage of our living mm. where does do i live mostly in the active state active state or proactive state mm. so if we uh, measure it then it will help us to move from reactive to active then proactive yeah so proactive means take off your observer when i am observing uh, my imagination i am observing outside and i am giving response rather than hurting inside or reacting outside mm. can i do this yeah thank you bhai thank you yes thank so you this we bhai. can measure for ourselves thank you yes sure that's is okay didi na we all are in the path of this exploration <laughs> So it, it happens with all of us. Yes, Baya. Yes, the same is true. Thank you, Baya. Thank you Thank so you much. Baya. Thank you. Thank you, Anupam Baya, for the input which is helpful for all of us. Uh, now I may invite uh, Sarina Devi for her comments. She is available. She is available. Namaste. Namaste, Tarasana Ji, Gopal Ji. Everybody, Namaste. Namaste, Chandakala ji. Namaste, ma'am. Namaste. namaste. It's always a pleasure to hear your sharing. And right from the past few times that we have been hearing you, it is very obvious about your commitment and uh, exploration for your self-development. And I think, you know, Slowly, that growth also one can see in your sharings. I wanted to ask you a couple of things. Thank you. Um, one is, in your college, do you have um, this uh, UHV courses? Or, you know, is there a UHV cell in the college or not? Uh, UHV cell is not there, Didi. Uh, mm -hmm. We have to open it. And uh, UHV classes are taken by the branch people. That is uh, those who are done uh, the UHV course in the branches. I also mm -hmm. asked the principal to give a chance to teach for the UHV classes for the students. But uh, mm -hmm. still I am not getting. But I I am doing that uh, UHV uh, in the introduct uh, sorry um, student induction program. Uh, mm -hmm. nice. I am, yeah. Nice. So, um, you know, what would it take to 
try to have a UHV cell at your college if you can pursue that. Mm -hmm. hmm? Yeah, definitely. Did it. definitely yeah, that would be very useful. Yeah. Right? So that is one thing that I was thinking. Another mm -hmm. thing I was thinking is that um, you have obviously done the workshops. Um, yes. Is there any um, sort of involvement of the family? Mm. Is anyone in the family doing this? I I also thinking uh, actually I compare my behavior or my suffering uh, earlier and now I am quite happy. I uh, if all the family have that content, how much <laughs> it's good. But uh, the I put a proposal to my daughter, but uh, she is not ready to take. Uh, my husband cannot understood the the, uh, the UHV through in English language. That is the uh, one issue. Uh, I think that I should uh, have a more about this uh, UHV content so that I can stretch my hand to uh, hold them up. Uh, I can see the changes also with them, Didi, in my husband as well as my daughter. Uh, he had a uh, uh, blood pressure uh, in the last uh, one, hour, one and a half year. He suffered now from six to seven months. Uh, he is not taking any tablet uh, because of his pressure. Uh, it's going on in the family uh, issues. Uh, he suffered so that uh, he suffered with the uh, disease like PP. And uh, when I kept myself cool and support them, he is also good. That way, I am supporting both of them today. Yes. Nice. I think, you know, it will be a lot more effort from your side. Mm. Uh, you know, if we have to keep doing this. I mm -hmm. think it will be very nice if you can, you know, what is the language, the regional language? Uh, Canada. Yeah. Canada. Mm -hmm. so some work is going on regarding the translation part mm -hmm. but I think from your end mm -hmm. uh, you know the I, I think you have a good hold of the subject the topic the mm -hmm. workshops you have attended mm -hmm. so if you can uh, make like a summary mm -hmm. and put it forward to your husband Mm. or your daughter right mm. yeah it may be helpful mm. and then your you know it will not be so draining or difficult for you mm. to uh, be supportive to the family then there will be more of um, people will be able to take care of themselves better mm. in yeah. the family also and that will help to free you up a little bit more mm -hmm. so that you can be more involved with you know bringing forward this UHV content in the college in the form of a UHV cell mm -hmm. and I was also keen that uh, maybe you can look at you know giving demo presentations looking at resource work so give mm -hmm. it a thought maybe mm -hmm. not immediately Maybe you're tied up with family issues, mm -hmm. but see how you can, you know, improve things so that uh, you are not, not so tied down for family issues Okay. so that you can do more for the larger good. You're already involved in the college. Mm -hmm. so if it was, you know, like taking place more in the college and you had a UHP cell, then you could be more involved in volunteering activities in your college time itself. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it would not take a toll otherwise. Mm -hmm. So think about these things and okay. see how you can bring this about. And mm -hmm. wherever you need help, there are many volunteers. There mm -hmm. are many colleges where UHP cells have been opened. And uh, so you can, you know, they can help you yes, do, make this effort. And of yeah. course, uh, you know, 
you are i know committed and you are going to continue with the self exploration journey so sure. all the very best to you thank you thank you